Hello, Victor here from RestoreMercedes.com. This video is for Neil in Australia. Okay, Neil, so I got this unit here. This is your unit right here, as you can see it, uh, at 93. So I fixed the loom. The wires were actually terrible, really bad. So as you can see, it's connected to my car right now. This is, this is my throttle body. Same way done. So it's V12, obviously. So I'm gonna show you the operation. Um, this is a slave unit. My primary unit is still connected in the car. So as you can see right here. So I'm gonna activate the throttle. As you can see right now, when I activate the throttle, nothing happens, the car is off. So I'm gonna put on the ignition. <clears throat> so you can see that this thing works. Okay, put on the ignition. First thing we hear is the humming sound. You can hear it. Nice and healthy. It's my unit humming there. So I'm gonna activate the throttle. You're gonna see that that unit is gonna open. As you can see. It opens fully, everything is fine with it. And uh, basically moving the linkage on the primary and the secondary opens. What I can also do is I can start the car to show you that there is no ASR light or anything like that. Um, it's gonna it's gonna run but it's not gonna run correctly because my slave unit is not letting air in but at least you can see yours is not setting up any kind of ASR lights or anything like that, no limp mode. But I can see that this works pretty nicely. You can see opens and closes, opens and closes, no problem. So let's start it up. <coughs> okay, so right now only ignition is on. So I'm gonna start it. So the car is started. Again, the idle is not gonna be controlled as it should because I'm not getting slave unit to open to let air in because it's disconnected off the vehicle. But yours is connected, ASR light is not on, and you know, still there, the unit is hooked up. So, works nice. I mean, I know for a fact that because of those wires, it would definitely give you, give you a problem because some wires were touching the case so that they would short out when heat up. Yeah, you can tell, I mean, I, I open up the units and before I even touch any wires, I like carefully open up the cover because I want to see the problem. And uh, some wires, they were just touching the case with bare metal. Um, even though they were a little rusty, as they all get, but um, obviously that's going to happen when you got one wire expanding and touch the ground and set off limp mode because of the shortage but as you can see works works great so it's ready to go back to you I'm going to uh, send you this email with the video so you can see it and um, pack it up and mail it out so we'll be good to go all right well it's ready to go. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Bye now.